So you've just set up your RFID system. You go to scan your first tag. Your tag goes right through the read zone and the reader misses it. How is that possible? Well, the answer just could be multipath. I don't know about you, but I love when a word almost explains itself. And that is exactly the case with the RF term multipath. So if we look at the actual physics behind what a reader is doing when it transmits the RF signal, we know that the RF reader isn't transmitting just one straight line of RF transmission directly at the tag that it's aimed at. We know that multiple RF waves are given off of the reader in multiple different directions. So what that means is there is more than one RF signal that is interacting with our tag in the read zone. This is where other terms such as reflection, refraction, diffraction, and absorption come into play. Without taking too long to explain all the difference between those different terms, you can simply understand this as if my tag is directly perpendicular from the reader, directly in front of me, the RF waves that are transmitting out at an angle instead of directly at the tag can actually reflect or diffract off of materials in the area and those paths of the RF transmission are then redirected directly at our tag. So there could be multiple paths of RF transmission that are actually picking up the tag, not just direct line of sight to the tag. So this can be a good thing, but also there can be some negative effects of multipath. Good effect would be if you're trying to reach a tag all the way at the back of your read zone or your interrogation zone, you may just need to reflect that signal off of a material in the area to pick up that tag at a distance. Now, as an engineer, it's never a good idea to rely on multipath to pick up your tags, but it can be beneficial in some situations. Some of the negative effects of multipath would be if multiple RF waves interact or intersect with one another they can form what is called a null zone. Null zones, in short, are just a small pocket within the RF interrogation zone, which the two signals actually interfere with one another, preventing any sort of tag from picking up that RF transmission. So even though a tag can be right in the middle of the read zone that you just spent all this time setting up, because of worldly environments, materials in the area, it may be a one in a million chance, but there is a small chance that your tag could not get picked up because of the refraction and multipath of multiple RF transmission. One key way to work around this is to have multiple readers or antennas in the area transmitting a signal. There are some things to be careful of when you have multiple antennas in the area However, there's a chance that if one antenna experiences multipath, which causes a null zone, nine times out of 10, the other antenna isn't going to also experience that same null zone. I hope this gave you some insight on how you can optimize your RFID system. And as always, make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.